Hello. Welcome to Introduction to Anthropology, Chapter 1. I'm Idaho Bones. Joining me is my dad, Dr. Bones. Hello. And Professor Kristen. Howdy. The definition of anthropology is the study of humanity, from its earliest beginnings to its current worldwide diversity. Anthropology includes both people and non-human primates. Anthropology is a holistic science. That means that it studies the whole of the human condition, past, present, and future. Biology, society, language and culture. And we do not study dinosaurs. People share society, that is, organized life in groups, with other animals, but culture is distinctly human. Cultures are the traditions and customs of a group of people, handed down through learning. A famous anthropologist, Edward Tyler, said, Culture is that complex whole which includes knowledge, belief, arts, morals, law, custom, and any other capabilities and habits acquired by people as members of society. Culture is transmitted through learning that begins in childhood, as part of the socialization process. Culture is not biological, but it does rest on certain features of human biology. These include the ability to learn, to think symbolically, to use language, and to employ tools and other products in organizing their lives and adapting to their environments. Adaptation refers to the process by which organisms cope with environmental forces and stresses, such as those posed by climate and topography. Animals adapt using biological means, including natural selection. Humans use biological means including short and long-term physiological adaptations. They also use cultural adaptations. Things like clothing, fire, plant cultivation and animal domestication. Let's talk about the four primary types of human adaptation. Cultural, technological, adaptation. Genetic adaptation. Long-term physiological or developmental adaptation and short-term or immediate physiological adaptation. Can you give an example of each? What is an example of the cultural adaptation to, say, high altitudes? How about a breathing apparatus or pressurized airplane cabin? Can you think of an example of a genetic adaptation to high altitude? How about larger chests and greater lung capacity? Can you think of an example of a long-term physiological or developmental adaptation to high altitude? An example is a more efficient respiratory system. Can you think of an example of a short-term or immediate physiological adaptation? If you said an increased heart rate or hyperventilation, you're right. General anthropology is anthropology as a whole, including cultural, archaeological, biological and linguistic anthropology. American anthropology has a four-field approach because of its history. American anthropologists in the 1800s had a lot of questions about Native Americans that they wanted to answer before they disappeared. Questions like, where did they come from? How long have they been in the Americas? What are their customs? What languages do they speak? What are their biological links to people in Asia? There was also a concern with the link between biology and culture. Back then, people thought that human races were biological. We know now that there are no biological races in the human species, in spite of what you might read on Wikipedia. We do know that there is a thing called social race, which we'll talk about in depth in a later chapter. Anthropologists share certain key assumptions. They include the idea that sound conclusions about so-called human nature cannot be derived from studying a single nation, society, or cultural tradition. A comparative, cross-cultural approach is essential. There are four sub-disciplines of anthropology. 
Cultural Anthropology, Archaeology, Biological Anthropology, and Linguistic Anthropology. Cultural Anthropology is the comparative, cross-cultural study of human society and culture. Archaeology is the study of human behavior through material remains. Biological, or physical, anthropology is the study of human biological variation in time and space. Linguistic anthropology is the study of language and linguistic diversity in time, space and society. Cultural anthropology combines ethnography and ethnology to study human societies and cultures for the purpose of describing, analyzing, interpreting, and explaining social and cultural similarities and differences. Ethnography produces an account, in the form of a book, an article, or a film, of a particular community, society, or culture based on information that is collected during field work. Ethnology examines, interprets, analyzes, and compares the results of ethnography. Ethnology compares and contrasts the particular data gathered in different societies to make generalizations about society and culture. Archaeological anthropology reconstructs, describes, and interprets human behavior and cultural patterns through material remains. The material remains of a culture include artifacts, such as potsherds, jewelry, and tools, garbage, burials, and the remains of structures. Biological, or physical, anthropology investigates human biological diversity across time and space. A focus on biological variation unites the five special interests within biological anthropology. 1. Paleoanthropology, the study of human evolution as revealed by the fossil record. 2. Human genetics. 3. Human growth and development. 4. Human biological plasticity, the body's ability to change as it copes with stresses brought on by heat, cold, and altitude. 5. Primatology, the study of the biology, evolution, behavior, and social life of primates. Linguistic anthropology is the study of language in its social and cultural context across space and time. Some linguistic anthropologists investigate universal features of language that may be linked to uniformities in the human brain. Historical linguists reconstruct ancient languages and study linguistic variation through time. Linguistic anthropologists have studied linguistic differences to examine the relationship of language structure and thought patterns in different cultures. Finally, sociolinguistics investigates relationships between social and linguistic variation. That's all for now. Be sure to read in your textbook the section in chapter 1 about the scientific method. Bye. Till next time.